Hello, and welcome to this quick overview of Notion for iOS. We'll look at opening and creating new scores, entering notes, playing back, and exporting your project. Notion is now available as a universal app for iPad and iPhone. We'll use the iPad for the purposes of this video. In the centre of the launch screen are your existing scores plus some demo scores to play with. Tap Sort to either sort by date modified or by file name. Tap Edit to delete. Press and hold to rename or duplicate. If you enable iCloud, which is now supported in Notion, scores in this list will automatically sync across your iOS devices and with iCloud Drive on Mac and Windows. Check out our separate video on this. There is also a new Templates tab. Here you'll find a variety of different ensembles to choose from. At the bottom, you'll find the Help file, plus a Feedback button. This comes directly through to us, so please do let us know about any improvements, bugs or ideas for the app through this form. At the top, a new button to start the new score, an import button to bring in scores from your Dropbox account, a link to our Notion desktop web page, and sounds, a new sound manager to organize which samples are kept on your device or in the cloud. You can download all of your bundle of sounds on this menu or pick and choose individual ones to save space on the device. You can also purchase additional instruments from here too, Notion will use a Steinway piano sound as a default for any sound either not installed or purchased. I personally have everything downloaded on my iPad, but I just have the piano sound installed on my iPhone. Check out our separate video on this feature. Let's set up a new score by tapping New. We'll enter the title and select our instruments. Scroll up and down for individual instruments or tap one of the blue icons to jump to the instrument family or category. Tap Edit to delete or reorder your instruments by dragging the instruments around. You can add more instruments by tapping the plus button at any time. To change instrument name and abbreviation, string tuning or transposition, tap the instrument name. Let's have a look around the screen. At the bottom is the menu bar, with Home, Setup, Sound Manager, Export and Help on the left. In the centre is the Transport, with Rewind, Play and Record. Then, the Virtual Instruments. Tap to change from Keyboard, to Fretboard, to Drum Pad, to Mixer. Tap the Shown Instrument to hide them all. And then Undo, Redo and Cursor left and right is on the right of the taskbar. On iPhone, this menu bar is part of a new sidebar. Tap the square or swipe from the left-hand side of the screen to pull the sidebar out. Above the menu bar is the palette with everything you need to create your score. For iPad, there is also a new quick access palette that pulls together the most used items from across the palette in one handy place. Let's enter some notes. I can play and think about what I want to write first Toggle the pencil icon on and off. When I'm ready, I can arm it, select the duration, and use the piano to enter the pitch. Swipe up and down to reveal more of the keyboard. For chords, tap the chord entry button and use the right cursor to advance once you've built up the chord. On iPad, these are two separate buttons. On iPhone, one button toggles between melody and chord mode. The fretboard works in the same way. And finally, the drum pad, which combined with the different note heads and voices can create well-written and realistic sounding drum parts.
I can also touch notes in with my finger or stylus. Select the hand icon on the palette and tap your notes in. Press and hold for crosshairs to appear under the finger for accurate note placing. Finally, you can record into Notion in real time. You can use either the on-screen piano, fretboard or drum pad, or connect a MIDI instrument via a USB cable and Apple's camera connector kit. Tap record, change your settings, or use either the MIDI guitar or keyboard presets and start playing. Once you've finished your score, you can play it back and use the mixer to fine tune the result. For layout settings or to change view or see individual parts, tap the settings cogwheel. We are often asked how to add extra measures into a score. Place the cursor where you want the measures to appear, go to the measures palette and just tap on the measure line itself. To share your work, you can send the score to iCloud, Dropbox or email as a Notion file, a PDF, a MIDI file or as a Music XML file. A Music XML file can be opened with other notation software. Here we're going to print a PDF of the score just by selecting PDF and then hitting Email. Individual parts can be viewed via the settings menu and then print, or create all parts as one PDF with one tap for quick and easy distribution. To share audio, you can save your score as an audio file and send to iCloud, Dropbox or upload direct to SoundCloud. That's a quick overview of Notion for iOS. For more detail, check out our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.